What is good guys, Rep Kicks here, we're back at it again with another Jordan 4 for you. This is from a seller that I just started using. Really great seller, I mean the QC was incredible. I got it in only two days. Shipping came in five days after that, which is super, super fast. I was told this is LJR batch and I think it is. So let's stop chatting and get right into it. So everybody loves the fire red Jordan 4s. It's an all white Jordan 4, but it's got that nice red on the midsole, the black, the red on the lace, pieces and the red on the sock liner that really makes the color pop i mean it's a beautiful colorway i've never met anyone that doesn't like this colorway simple clean red black and white always go together great so you can see the shape is incredible on here really nice shape to the upper also on this one i'll show you this side here you can see the shape is really good on the upper here it's high quality premium leather i mean they always use high quality premium leathers on the reps it's not synthetic crappy stuff some people think that the reps use different materials but i promise you there's no difference between this and the retail so the whole upper is this beautiful nice white leather it's got the nice black midsole as it comes around here and then it's got the red rubber midsole on the front as it comes up to the gray on the tip with the stars there nice shaped toe box the toe box is actually really nicely shaped for a rep jordan 4 the wings placement is great it's got the nice clean stitching underneath the wings there the wings cover the lace hole the midsole is nice and sturdy Rep 4s don't have the soft midsole flaw, but just like to show you, it does have a nice solid midsole. You can see the bottom is just a regular Jordan 4 bottom. It's got the gray, then the white with the red Nike, and then it comes up to the red, the white, and the gray stars on the top there. So even the details, the smallest details in the midsole, they get down perfect. Come up to the air bubble unit. This is a functioning working air bubble unit. It's not just for show, if you press on it, you could feel the air, the same technology that's in the reps is in here. Correct cage, the cage is on a nice angle. It's not that cheap, crummy fishnet cage. It's really nice and sturdy and solid, exactly how you would want it to be. All the leather cuts and stitching are clean. You could see on all these panels, the leather cuts, usually around the cages or bores, retail and rep, tend to get a little sloppy and choppy, but look how clean the stitching is around that cage as it comes up around the toe. The stitching's really, really good. The inside's the same as the outer side, except for it's got this long black midsole here. I mean, look how clean the paint strokes are in that. The bottom's the white midsole, and then it's got the gray on the heel as it comes up to the red around the toe and the stars there. Inside's exactly like the outer side. Not too much different at all to point out. So you got this beautiful white upper there, cages, the wings placement is good. Got the red pieces for the lace hole there. Toe box shape is great. So that's the inside. You always want to make sure the wings cover the lace holes you know the stitching nice and clean cages on an angle and then the toe box shape if that stuff is pretty much down pat you got a really good rep so all the little details are good with the outside and inside it does come with the correct orange little nike tag that the og pairs come with so that is correct it's supposed to come with the orange one retail does as well it says nike air we'll put that out the way so this side's exactly like the outer one beautiful white leather for the upper i'll show you you can even see the greens and details in the upper there black wings with the red waffle pieces for the laces to go through cage looks good overall build is incredible double stitch that comes around the back of the heel and comes all the way up to the toe is really nice midsole's clean and then here is the inside for you guys to see again i mean it's a really beautiful pair if we come around and look at the backs you can see the back heel tabs look incredible it's got a normal jordan 4 heel tab just that black plastic heel tab red nike and air logo on it look how perfectly straight and clean they are the air is perfect it lines up with the stitch there got a nice clean nike logo with the swoosh which is a little off center how it should be a little bit to the left clean stitching on the heel tabs you can see the top of the heel tabs are nice and defined and the midsole is nice and clean so if you put them side by side with each other this one looks a little crooked now because the box is off level but look how nice and clean they are the back of the heels look really good if you come and look at the midsole up close you can see the midsole is clean the little cut right here that makes the back of the heel this little cut right here it's like a u cut it's perfect it's not too high it's got a nice u shape to it and then the seam is dead center in the middle where it should lined up with the eye double stitch that goes around it's good you can see the red sock liner from the back here but we'll go through that when we get to the front come and look at the front it's got the red midsole on the front with the stars toe box shape is really incredible it's a really nice toe box shape for a rep jordan 4 so really happy about that it's got the white leather that nice 
soft premium white leather. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. Double stitch that goes around the toe is really good. Then it comes up to the cage. So it's the same material cage as the side there. It's got the black behind it, just like the side there does. I didn't show you that before, but it does have the black material underneath it. So the cage starts here and goes all the way up to here. So the whole tongue is a cage material with a black underneath it until it gets up to the top of the tongue, which is that nice, beautiful white leather. So the same leather as the upper. And then it's got that nice big white tag on it with the red Jumpman in the flight. The Jumpman looks incredible. You can see the details in the green of the leather on the tongue there. The shape of the tongue, the height of the tongue, it's not too long. It looks great from the side. And then if you come and look at this one, there's the cage, the whole cage comes up to here and it's got the same exact tag just like the other one flight looks good there's no red tongue tag bleed the jump man looks incredible so i'll put them side by side so you can see how nice and even and clean they are so now i'm going to put the flash on so we can look at the sock liner so if we come and look at the sock liner just a regular jordan 4 sock liner just all red you can see it does have some nice padding that's why jordan 4s are a little more uncomfortable to break in than other shoes but all red sock liner back of the tongue's all red and then if we look at the insole, I'll pull the tongue out of the way. It's an all black insole and it's got the red Nike Air logo on the heel there. There's the back of the heel for you guys who'd like to see the sock liner up close. No other logos except this. So it's just an all black insole all the way down to the toe. And then it's got the upside down Air Jordan tag, which most Jordan 4s have. So back of the tongue is the same red sock liner. And then there's the upside down Air Jordan tag, which looks great. Same thing with this one. One. Nice shape to the heel. You can see it does have that perfect Jordan 4 shape. Got a lot of padding, which is perfect to retail. Come and look at the inside. And there is the inside for you. So Nike Air looks good. Nice placement on the heel. This is the left shoe. And then back of the tongue also has the upside down Air Jordan logo, which looks perfect. For you guys who like to see the tags, I'll see if I could find the tag for you. They're really hard to see on this pair. Kind of is like behind the little tongue strap there, but you go true to side with these so you don't have to size up or size down comes in a regular jordan 4 box so nothing special just a regular jordan 4 box there open it up and it does have the little cement pattern paper in there. So nothing special, just a regular Jordan 4 box. So there you have it, guys. Another awesome pair of Jordan 4 Fire Reds. This seller did a great job. I definitely would recommend using them. I'm going to start using them more. We're going to start reviewing a lot from them. I really had a great experience with them, so check them out. Appreciate you guys watching, and stay tuned for more. Peace.